Hey YouTube, welcome to part 2 of the Plasma Table Build. In this episode, I'm going to make some bolts to adjust the levelling of the table, finish the frame for the sacrificial bars, and give it a bit of a paint up because it's going to be out in the open and I don't want it to rust too much. Here we go. I need a couple of bolts for the CNC table. I went down to local hardware to buy them. I wanted something about 4 inches long with a thread all the way down. And of course they didn't have any so Necessity being the mother of invention, I bought some threaded rod, as anyone would do when they need a bolt that's not available, and some nuts. I'm going to weld a nut onto the end of it, and I will have my bolt. And there you have it, instant bolt. And this is the disposition of the bolts on the table. As you can see, they fit up underneath into that bracket. There's one on each of the four corners. In fact, it's provision to have two on each of the four corners. What that allows you to do is to put the legs down anywhere and get your table perfectly level. Basically, you just get yourself a spirit level, set your table where you want it, and move your bolts like a little jack until you've got everything nice and level. And then you're in business. I've got the top frame I'm going to use for the plasma table all cut now. It's just sitting there, still got to be bolted in place yet. Little spaces underneath to hold the frame up off the main frame. Then I've got to weld some uh, angle on the top of that to fit the sacrificial bars in. And then we're good to go. I've got to repair some pieces that I didn't cut at the length I need. Now I say that rather awkwardly because I did cut them at the right length when I cut them, but I subsequently changed the design so that I think it'll be better this way. But these ended up just being uh, about 25 mil short or about one inch short. So I'm just gonna TIG weld a little piece onto the end of them. Doesn't have to be too neat because these are the sacrificial blocks for the CNC table. I've just got to weld 16 of them. It's a bit of a pain. Oh, it shouldn't take long. Not that he has to be, but he is not a bad weld. Yeah, we happy with that. I've got three more to weld up from scrap pieces. Uh, none of them are quite long enough to do the job, so I'm just going to weld them together. Bear in mind these are the sacrificial bars, and while I need to make sure they're nice and straight so they don't make the job sit crooked, they don't have to be anything real flash by way of welding or um, quality metal or anything. Anything that will make the job sit nice and straight is good enough. I'm just going to weld these little pieces of inch, one inch by four inch, uh, 100 mil by 25 mil. Actually, I think that's 30 mil, so about an inch and a quarter. Just on here, just to stop the frame sliding side to side. Ah, need a trick. I've got to go and weld the other side, but there's no room to get the camera in there, so I shall have to do them without photographing it. And now I'm going to cut the angles that hold the sacrificial bars in place. For that, I want to cut just through the upright part of it every 100 millimetres. Since I want one right at the end, I'm going to start at 25. 25, 125, 225. So that's basically one inch in and then every four inches if you're working in Imperial. Mm. 
just to make things nice and quick and easy, I'll just transfer these marks across onto the other one that we're doing for the other side. And of course the centre one's going to be lined up a little bit differently. But nevertheless, I can transfer the marks because the spacing's the same. I've just got to have a different starting point for them. The measurements here aren't critical. This is, these are just slots to hold the sacrificial bars. As long as they're near enough, the important part is they all go down the same depth so that all the bars sit at the same height. Hmm, mark that on the wrong side. Which probably means the other is marked on the wrong side too. got this cheap because it had that bend in it. This is the bit I wanted to show you. I've made the cut till it just touched the bottom. That way all the pieces that are going in there will sit down on this bottom piece. The cut piece will sit in like that. Sacrificial bars will go in the slots and all sit level on this bottom piece. This is the angle set up ready to weld. Cuts are in here in the verticals. I've got the vertical on the inside of this uh, SHS. I've got it on the inside on the other side of the SHS. The cuts on these ends line up within a millimetre or two. That's about within an eighth of an inch, say. I can see they're obviously out maybe a millimetre and a half, so about a sixteenth of an inch. These are out, but it's near enough for the purposes. As I say, they only need to hold the sacrificial bars. This one here, the upright can go on either side, doesn't really matter. It just works out well for this side. Give me the bend that I want through here, I'll put it on this side. And I've got them all clamped in place, all ready to weld, which is the next job on it. Alright, well, somehow the camera didn't get turned on properly. I've gone ahead and welded all these. I basically put a Oh, anywhere between half inch and two and a half inches, so 10 mils and 30 mils. So I've weld every 200 mils roughly, so that's about every eight inches. Except for just here where this bend is, I put it every four inches there, just because I'm thinking I might get a spanner on that and straighten that a little bit. So I put most of the welds down here on the flat side, but I did put an odd one on the back, probably spaced 20 inches apart, so about 500 mils. And that's got them in place now. Next thing to do is to take it off. Just dress up some of this rust here and give it a coat of paint to stop the rust taking hold really well. And then I can put this back and I'm just going to strap it down to hold it down where it sits up slightly in the middle. The ends are just fine. That gives you a little chance to see how far apart the wells are, about every second upright section, as I said about 200 mils apart. They don't have to be real big, there's no force on this just to stop it moving. Go on and give this bit of a coat of paint on the top where I've already treated it for the rest. I've got to do these sides, I've got to put them here. This one side was really rusty, so I've got to uh, cut down with the turps first. Maybe I'll also give it a coat of the anti-rust hood, then I can paint it up. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you got nothing out of it, please click on the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to my channel or browse to my website. Until next time.